couple of uh, months ago, I started to shop for boots. For the past few winters, I've used trail runners. And I know what you're thinking, Dan, um, that's all you do is wear trail runners. Actually, not true. Uh, I do have a pair of boots that I have been using for the past several years, winter backpacking, but um, they are not good hiking boots. They're insulated boots, um, they're heavy. So today we're gonna be unboxing these. This is the Keen, <laughs> this is the Keen Ridge Flex. Um, disclaimer, I have opened this box up and I did try one boot on just to make sure it fit, like it was the right actual size, and it is but I haven't really done any uh, walking in them at all. Uh, basically just looked at it, tried it on, and then threw it back in the box so I could unbox it for you guys. All right, so this is literally how they were packaged. Um, and then green. Uh, I gotta be honest, I'm not super fond of green shoes myself, but they do come in a bunch of different colors. Nothing else in the box at all. Um, these boots are actually very unique in that they are a flexible boot. And why these were so intriguing to me is because when I've gone hiking in the past, in the winter with boots on, um, I feel like the flexing part is always the most unique <laughs> because boots are usually very stiff. Um, but these, if you notice, have like almost like an accordion looking thing right here. And um, that has, it says something really small on there. I don't know if you could, I don't know if you could see that. Probably really difficult to see. I don't know, can you see it up here? But it says, <laughs> it says Keen Bellow Flex Patent Pending. So they have a patent on this right here. And according to Keen, this was in their tests flexed one million times and passed with flying colors. So like they literally took a machine, put this boot in it and flexed it like this. Now, oh wow, that actually does flex in the exact spot right there. That's really interesting. And that's actually really easy to flex, which is not what I was expecting at all. Okay, like even with my hand when I just kind of move it like that. Okay, that's cool. They're actually pretty lightweight. How much do they weigh? Let's find out. Okay. Let's just set it on there. So they're one pound six. Can you see that? One pound, I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says one pound six and one eighth ounces. Is the other one the same? Wait, I just want to one pound six and five eighths ounces. So yeah, they're pretty much identical in weight. Um, each boot, you never know. They are waterproof, which all year round, I don't know, people like waterproof. Some people do, some people don't. Um, I, in the summertime and in the fall time and the springtime prefer uh, non-waterproof shoes, but um, I'm totally willing to try these out, um, especially in the winter time when I'm hiking through snow and my feet get wet and then they freeze at night when it drops, you know, really cold. Oh, this is interesting. It's got this like heel lock right here. What is that? Okay, it's like a, a band. Oh, that's attached to the laces here. So like if I pull on this, what does that do? Okay, all right, so that's gonna pull and it's gonna lock around the back and then to the other side. So I'm not sure like if how that's gonna pull onto there, but it, oh, and there's like a flex back here too. I wonder if it flexes back here. Oh yeah, look at that. It does, interesting. So back here, cause that's always been a problem for me with boots, like back here, where like my uh, ankle is, and I feel like when that's rubbing, I get blisters back here when I'm wearing boots. The bottom of this is uh, got a lot of teeth on there, I feel like. So 
that's always a huge plus for any type of a boot or shoe when you're out in the backcountry. You don't want uh, anything that's going to slip at all, especially when you're like going through like um, rivers or streams and the rocks are super slippery. Okay, and the other thing that I really was very intrigued by Keen about, these are supposedly a wide toe box as well so that your feet can uh, like, you know, you can wiggle your toes around in there. And that's big for me because that's where I get blisters. I'll either get them between my toes or like underneath, like right in here, the ball uh, underneath my big toe where is where I'll uh, get a lot of rubbing. So it's important to me that I can tighten up the top part of my boot or my shoe. And then this can be like free moving so that I don't have to worry about um, my feet rubbing as much on the actual shoe themselves. Okay, this is kind of nice here. This looks like, this is a part on a shoe that I feel like <laughs> always comes loose right here. And that is actually pretty, well, you can kind of pull it, I mean, I suppose if I wanted to, I could rip that off, but it, it's pretty locked in pretty good. And then there's, what is this? There's a, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a little exclamation point right there. <laughs> Not sure what that's all about. Let's like, can you see that if I do that? It's like danger right there. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that is. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try these on and I'm gonna wear these for the weekend just to kind of see how this thing flexes, which I am eager to try out because this is super, super flexible. I wonder if it's too flexible. Okay, so what I think about these boots so far in the super short amount of time that I've had them is, um, you know, they're not insulated. So you're not going to spend a ton of time in the snow, obviously, in these boots. You're going to want to have like a thicker wool sock. But what really is interesting is how they feel like a boot, like a, <laughs> a boot while I'm standing here. But when I start to walk, it's hard to explain, but it's almost like a shoe. So it flexes uh very easily much easier than like a boot would flex so i feel like there's less energy being used as i'm walking i've had them on now for about four days i used them all this weekend i even brought them to the dentist office like i had them all over town i'm planning on taking these to a few different backpacking trips this upcoming weekend i'll be in shawnee national forest for a winter trip uh, and i will be using these boots then and then i'll report back to you guys in a few months uh, after using these boots just to kind of give you a a little bit more in-depth review instead of a unboxing and a first look. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also subscribe for more. I'll put my Instagram right here and I will see you on the next one.